Okay, so welcome to the Impingo uh, setup. Uh, nice, simple, easy to do uh, to set up the system. The first thing you need to do is to create a blank database in your cPanel. Uh, now, this will, the way this looks, will be slightly different depending on your host, um, but the actual pro uh, overall process is the same. Some will use a cPanel, some will use Plesk, uh, some will use their own custom systems but they're basically the same. So first of all you need to set up a blank database. So you will go to create a database um, and you will give it a name um, and I suggest you use something like Moby CMS um, and your host will possibly add a prefix to the front of whatever name you pick. So you need to bear that in mind. So you need to make a note of this and then create the database. And that was simple, that's created. Next we need to add a create a user for the database. So you go down and create add a new user. And once again, the host will add a prefix in front of whatever name you pick. So we're going to give it the same name as the database, so Moby CMS and then you select a password for your database. Um, and it's best to use just letters and numbers if you can. Um, or you can use the password generator. Okay, so then you create the user. Okay, the user has been created. And then finally we need to add the user to the database. So you'll see there's a section add user to database. So we select the user and we select the database and then we click add to add the user to the database. And then we need to give it the privileges to be able to use the database. So click on all privileges and make changes. Okay, so once that's done, we can go back and our database is now, collect, is now created. So we've finished with our cPanel. We now have our blank database. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to upload the files to a subfolder, the files for the system, uh, to a subfolder of our main site where we will have the CMS pages. So in your package you will see a folder called project files so log into a FTP client like FileZilla and go to your website's home page, uh, home folder uh, which will probably be the public HTML folder but in this case we're using a, a subfolder um, and open the project files and you'll see a folder called Mobi CMS now that has got lots and lots of files in it, as you can see. So what we need to do is to upload the whole of that folder in its uh, correct structure into the root folder of our website. So we just drag that into the FTP client and it will upload all of the files. Now this may take a little while because there is um, around uh, a thousand files as you can see. Uh, we're currently on uh, file 376 left to go. So once all those file files are uploaded to our our host, there we go, they're all done. We can then go to our browser and we browse to uh, our website and the folder that we just uploaded, which is Mobi CMS, and set up PHP. as you can see there. Okay, so now it's gonna it's asking us for our registration and setup code. Now that will be in the email that uh, you received when your order was processed and that is the order number which is that long number with the hyphens in. So we enter that into the registration code and click continue. After a few seconds it should validate the code 
There we go, and now it will automatically continue. Okay, so then we come to step two. So for step two, we need to enter our site's URL, which in this case is, this is the URL of the, um, where we installed the CMS. And don't forget to put the trailing slash on the end. Um, then what you want to call your um, CMS system. So we'll call it in Pingo test CMS. Uh, the email of that you want to be able to send emails from for when you set up new users or, or forgot passwords. Um, and that must be uh, an email address on your domain. Um, the location of the database, which in most cases will be localhost, but in some that may be slightly different, it may be a server name, so you'll need to just double check that with your host. Then the name we gave the database. Now, in, in this particular case, um, I've created a new one called CMS2, and this one doesn't add a prefix on the front but yours may well add a prefix on the front so you need to be aware of that and then the database username which again we've done the same um, and the database password so then you enter the database password and your admin's username uh, real name and then click test connection. You should then get a success message and a second button will appear. So you click write file and continue. And then it will create the database tables and they should all be white. If any of those are red, then you've got a problem. And then you click continue and setup is complete. And then click to log in. So you log in uh, with admin and the default password, which is in your user guide. and then you're logged in and then you can go to the add users edit users and set up the, the remaining system settings okay so that's the whole system set up and ready to go okay so to add a new page with a um, editable aerial e editable area on it um, or CMS editable area on it. What you do is when you're in Mobirise, you would let's clone a we'll clone a page. You can just insert a page or you can clone one. We'll clone page two and we'll call it page three and it must have a PHP extension. Okay, so it'll be demo page three. Now the let's call this demo page three so what you would then do we'll just remove this one because uh, we want to do it from scratch let's wait for the code editor to open um, so let's let's remove this page, this section Okay, so you have your new page and you've got one normal block at the top. So to add a CMS area, you would then add an HTML fragment. Uh, where are we? HTML. There we go. So you would add that where you want your CMS area to be. Okay, then you would open up the editor and remove all the text from the top and all the text from the CSS at the bottom. Then in your package you will see a folder called code for CMS blocks. So you the for the main block 
you open that in a text editor such as Notepad++ or you can just open it in Notepad and once you've opened it in Notepad just select all of the text in Notepad and copy it then go to the HTML editor and paste it so now all the code has been added and you'll just get this little message here okay the second thing you do is you go to the page and you go to the page settings and inside the head code you need to add this little piece of code here and you'll find that code in there on the code inside head on page settings so open that and then again you would copy the text so select all copy and then you would paste that in the inside head code and then finally in the bottom you'll see there's a little bit of code there um, so that's the code before doc type on page settings so again you do the same again copy that code and paste it in there and that's it your new page is now set up you then want to add, add a menu item for it so we'll add that uh, demo page 3 to page 3 uh, as usual it doesn't go the first time so now we've got that in so then you would publish your page and upload it to your web and upload your main site to your web server so then if we go to our site and we go to the demo site um, on demo page 3 I've already added a couple more pages here um, you will get a new data found because we've not added any data to that page yet so then we would go to our CMS so there's our CMS control panel and we would add page content now you can do this in several ways you can manually add all your page content um, and we're going to be adding it for page 3 so it's page 3 PHP and in this case we're going to add it from a template so we would load the template and we'll use that one now the first time you add your uh, template you may find that the formatting is not 100% um, you just need to click source and click back again and that will pick up all the formatting from the uh, bootstrap CSS and the mobilized CMS so there we have our um, content which we can edit as we wish um, and you can also view the source and add, a, add source or you can select a particular item like an image image properties um, and you can change the image properties in here and set a hyperlink for the image and as you can see here we've added some star sheet classes which uh, in this case is image circle and image responsive um, okay so then we save that to page 3 there we go and now if we go back to our demo page now and page 3 you will see we now have our content and it also shows the um, the last updated time and date and by who updated it okay so it's as simple as that and then to edit an existing um, page content we go to the edit existing page content and we select the page we want to edit so we'll say the index HTML or index PHP rather and 
there's the content that's currently sitting on index. We have a look. There we go. There's the current current content, and as you can see, we've got a bootstrap button there, which is made from a hyperlink. Um, and we could then change um, in the editor the text and save it. And when we go back to the page, there we go. We've now got the new text in there. So that's how easy it is to add your editable areas. Thank you.